The Hindu says, to the mandir come, and to idols you should pray. The Buddhist needs no statues, saying, meditation will save the day. The Christian cries, just follow Christ, forget ye all the rest, forget the mandir and the mosque, for the chapel is the best. And the mullah shouts from minarets high, the mosque will save you when you die, and the rabbi in his synagogue has different ideas of the perfect God. Each and every other man claims intimate knowledge of God's master plan. I don't know who I should believe or which way I should turn, because they tell me all these different things and then say, God is one. Some say, shave your head and face, grow long hair if you dare. Some say, never ever cut the Sikh's long blessed hair. Some wear white for purity, for others green is best. Some look east to talk with God, while some face south or west. Some say, don't drink alcohol, that wine is the devil's device. But some say, come and drink with me, it's the sacred blood of Christ. Some say, eat kosher or halal, otherwise you will sin. And let the animal bleed to death, but pray for it as you begin. Some say never eat the flesh of another soul with pride. God takes care of all your needs, and nature will provide. I don't know what to eat or where, or which way I should turn. They tell me all these different things, and then say, God is one. I asked some wise religious men, What happens when I die? What happens when my time is up? My children left to cry. I know that they will burn my corpse, but what about my soul? Will it stay down here on earth? Or is it a heavenly goal? Where is hell? And where is heaven? And where does God reside? Who will judge my long life sins? My fate? Who will decide? The priest says he will read my rites, and all will then be well. God will take me in his care, and I won't burn in hell. And the Judas says I will be placed in a coffin in a family crypt. I'll then await for judgment day, and the Messiah will have the script. The Hindu and the Buddhist claim, the children need not cry. Reincarnation is the only way, and I will never die. I just don't know who to believe or which way I should turn. They tell me all these different things and then say God is one. But then God sent an angel, her sari white like snow. She pointed me to my inner self, saying, that's where I must go. She knew I wandered all day long, quite often lost in thought. She said I'd soon discover what I am and what I'm not. Forget the human labels designed to make men blind. The Hindu, Buddhist, Muslim, Sikh are brothers intertwined. And when men say that their God is one, she said I'd find it's true. Once I reach my Budupan, high up on Mount Abu.